go super left. It could go however you want it to go. How do you want it to go? Can we do any of this behavior? And I said, what do you want to see? So what do you want to see? What have you me? channel where we keep shit lit all day every day y'all may i have my drink mm, mm, mm. let's get into this roommate drama i already like this girl she got a good look to herself she got that little gangster look she ready to get ratted ratted batted batted actually i heard a little bit of her that would caught my attention i like her little raspy voice but let's get into this goddamn video man let's keep this shit lit let's get this motherfucker pumping and jumping let's get this motherfucking likes up let's get the shares up the comments what's going on i'm lurking i'm looking all right let's get into it though now run that back baby it's gonna be a whole cinema on my soul baby it's gonna be a whole and if people want to show out of me baby it's gonna be a whole cinema on my soul, baby, mm. it's gonna be a whole cinema because y'all know why did I have a roommate, right? It's 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 August twentieth. She ain't been here since July twentieth. She hasn't paid me any money. She owes me over seven hundred dollars. I texted her yesterday to ask her when is she gonna give it to me. She doesn't reply. I call her today. I text her again. She texts me and says, "Why would I respond to you if?" I haven't yet. I read your message, obviously. So why would I respond? Da -da -da, starts to talking out the side of her neck. Okay, baby, I'm gonna show you better than I can tell you. So then she starts proceeding to talk to me out the side of her neck continuously, telling me that it's uh she's sorry that I can't afford my bills and da da da. Mind y'all, TikTok the bills are paid. Mind you, TikTok the bills are paid, baby. I never needed help. This bitch was living in a fucking roach infested house sleeping in a living room with somebody's daughter, okay, and was crying to me about how she had nowhere for her and her son to go. So I invited her to my three-bedroom because I live by myself in my three-bedroom that I've lived in for three years. So baby's not going anywhere unless I want to. Yeah, all of that. But yeah, she said she was going to pull up. She was about to bring the police. Um, she called me a lot of names. Call me a lot of names, which I'm going to get to after all of this stuff goes down. I'm going to make a whole video and give y'all the whole 10-9 rundown. But for right now, baby, I'm going to go charge my phone so I can make sure that I'm live when the police pull up so I can show y'all how I'm going to dub this lady. Because cause you don't win when it comes to me. You don't win when it comes to me. You don't oh, win when it comes charge. to me. Nobody wins when it comes to me. So stop trying to go against me because you're not going to win. So yeah, I'm going to show you better than I can tell you. So I hope when the police get here, they know what they're talking about. Yeah. And if <laughs> I do like her. I don't know why. I don't know. I don't like drama, y'all, but her look, her look, she's a character. I like this. Might to uh, give her a, a follow. Might come up with more videos with her. I like her style. No nonsense, you know what I mean? Let's see what's going on. She come. The answer is earlier. I'm sure that a lot of y'all have seen the video earlier and you guys want to know what happened, what went down. Did the police come? Did she come? The answer is yes, the police came. She came. Yes, I did go live. I was live the entire time from the moment she pulled up till hours afterwards. I have the screen recording uh, live replay from the live video. I have screenshots of messages. I have cash app receipts. I have pictures. I did a tour of the house and the room. I showed you guys the hole in the wall i showed y'all everything i let everybody know the full story and y'all were there the entire time but for a lot of people i know that y'all missed the video i cannot believe that this video has two million views right now but for anybody that missed the video and you guys want to know what happened the full truth the nitty gritty to all of it make sure you follow me and turn on my post notifications and come back here to my page because tonight i'm doing the screenshotting right now i'm getting everything together right now Tonight, I will be back 
and I will make a story time video and I will tell the entire story from beginning to end for y'all. I will post a live replay for y'all. I will let you guys see exactly what she did, what she said, what the police said, what I did. I will let y'all see the full story, full disclosure. I have nothing to hide. I have nothing to lie about. So again, if you missed anything, you want the tea, you're just going to have to come back and clock it, baby. Give me a couple hours to get everything together. Go get me something to eat because Big Dad's hungry. And yeah, I'm going to give y'all the tea, baby. I'm sure that a lot of y'all have seen the video. You want to read the drama-filled comments or um, text messages, skip to about 3 minutes and 25 seconds. But if you want the full thing, here it goes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys the screenshots, okay? The whole synopsis of everything. And I'm going to allow you to pause and read and give you a little information as to what you're reading. So what you are reading here is when she used my soap for her hoo-ha. Mm -hmm. Not very classy, everybody. not very mindful, not very demure. Anyways, moving on. Here is where she told me that she's wearing my clothes. Well, these are just my Crocs, but um, she's wearing my Crocs. And then she said, I'm trying to change. It's stealing. Because why? She always wore my clothes and shoes, even though I stink and I'm dirty and I'm nasty. Moving on. In this screenshot, you will see where she wanted to, you'll see. But I, I stink, I'm dirty and I'm nasty. Remember that. Next. Now, let's get into the night after she punched the hole in my wall. And I noticed that she left and went to Greensboro anyways after I told her not to. So pay attention to the dates. July 24th, the day that she went to Greensboro. July 26th, still have not heard from her in the two days since this, you know, interaction. This is her being, I don't know, I feel like she was being sarcastic, but she did cash at me the part that she owed me of the light bill. She then said that she was coming back on the 29th, but she came home for about 10 minutes and then left again and did not return, okay? Said that she was going to her parents' house. Then text me again August 4th with no communication from me, saying that she will send her last payment on the 9th or the 10th. Mind you guys, I did not ask her about this. She sent me this information. There is no deleted messages. This is the whole, this is the whole shebang, baby. She came in August 6th while I was at work and said that the power was off, but I had already talked to the city and they said that it was a mistake and that they were fixing the problem. But um, by the time that I had got home, she was not there and nothing was really moved. So I'm assuming that she just came in and then left. And then I get another message August 10th that said, good morning, we'll be sending this evening. I said, okay, that's fine. And I let her know how much everything was going to cost. From here, the video is getting kind of long. So I'm just going to continue to post the screenshots and you guys can just pause and read them, okay? I'm very demure to see. I'm very cute see. I'm very demure. But I mix them both because I'm what? Very demure to see. I'm very cute with it, but I'm very mindful with it. Very respectful with it. I don't do too much. I do just enough. I don't go overboard. I don't go underboard. I'm not the basement. I'm not the attic. I'm where you live. I'm very demure. And here's the beautiful hole in my wall. Dang. Again, I'm going to give you guys a story time about all of this so I can explain to you guys what you're reading and what you're looking at. But um, those are all the screenshots. I don't have anything to hide. I don't have anything to lie about. I don't have anything to prove to anybody either. But that's the receipts. That's the screenshots, okay? I'm still going to post the screen recordings from the live video. And I'm still going to post the story time about how everything happened. And make sure you guys are commenting and following and whatnot to stay in the algorithm. Because, baby, it gets juicy. You want to read the drama-filled comments or um, text messages? Yeah, but she just definitely... And then it's like, you're definitely oh, lying about how much you make and all of that. Oh, baby, you can let me get my stuff or I'm going to kick the door in. Maria, if you touch my stuff, it'll just damage the personal property. Watch this. We're going to call the police. And I bet you they'll let me get my stuff. Well, you should have called them before you came. All right, it's fine. I can call them now. I want okay. to give you the benefit of the doubt. Okay. I'm trying to be very beneficial. How you doing? Can I have a police escort at six? 
But yeah, either way, she's 37. Not gonna kick the door in. Like, what? Are you? Um, I used to live not here. Not gonna kick and the, the door person in. Is here does not he used to live to here. He used to live here. Like, what do you mean? Kick your door in. Oh, nobody's injured. We're outside. She's on TikTok going live. She thinks it's funny. It's not my fault you lost $1,800. I think it's gambling. hilarious. And you need this money. What money? I got all my money back. Either way, I'm about to get my stuff and you're going to have to And take my bills are paid. Okay. If okay, well, we can go. What's your address so I can take to the court and then we can end this? Malia and you can take me to court as well. Mm -hmm. Do you want to give me your address so that we can do this in court? Oh, no. I'm going to give you. Well, no. I'm going to give you my address. I okay, so how can I take you to court if you, you don't want to give me your out. address? You're going to figure. You're so smart. You're going to figure it out. I will out. figure it out. Okay, you are. Okay. And I'm going to get my stuff and it's going to be I don't there. know what stuff you have. You don't have anything here. I don't have anything here? No. Okay, miss. Yes, yes, ma'am. No, I'm you here. don't, actually. Once you get served, you'll have her address and you can serve her back. I know. I know. I'm so smart. I am so smart. I am enjoying my day. I am enjoying my day. Uh, crazy lady pulled up as if she was gonna kick my door in. What do you mean? What do you mean? Did I wanna see her? Yes, how y'all doing? Thank you so much. And I have the key to the home. Thank you. And I'll need that back as well. Yeah, after I get my shit. I just don't know what you might be talking about. Hmm? I don't know what you might be talking about. You better be glad you reported and you got these people out here and the police is on the way. Oh, this could go super left. This it could go like however you want it to go. How do you want it to go? How do you want it to go? I want you to give me my stuff. You have no stuff. So how do you want it to go? No stuff. So how do you want it to go? I'll be sure. What do you want? How do you want this to go? I just told you. Let me know. Get off my car, please. Malia, you're on my car. My stuff is in your home. And you won't be charged, and I hope your son is safe because you're going to jail. Very safe. My baby's always safe. Good. Very safe. Good. You have to live here. I you got your security deposit paid. You paid yeah. your rent. My, no, my ex-husband paid my security exactly. deposit. Exactly. You beg your ex-husband. Ex-husband paid her security deposit. And then after her, the ex-husband paid the security deposit. She paid the rent. And yes. now she just needs yes. to get herself some yes. furniture. And I get my keys tomorrow. So she owes me over seven hundred dollars and doesn't want to give me my seven hundred dollars so that alive. she can buy life. furniture. I don't have to live here. You do. I'm not bothered. I mean, I you have to be bothered. You're not letting me get my shit, you idiot, fat, you bad body, no, jiggly bitch. Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> nothing. You have nothing. I have a key. You so when nothing. the police get here, do you want me to call your you landlord? Because this could get really crazy. Yeah, call her. Let's call her. Call her. Call her. Call her. I want you to call whoever you feel necessary. Because how I get this key? Because this can go how I get How I get this key? Because you used to live here, and then you punched a hole in the wall and ran to your ex-husband because no, you No, I called you when I punched the hole in the wall, no you money, stupid, dissy no bitch. ID. I called you at 5 o'clock in the morning because I was having a bad morning, and I told you I was emotional, me, and I punched the hole in the goddamn wall, wall, and I was going to replace Thank it. You. You're making yourself like an you idiot. It? What kind of woman is you? Have you replaced No, because I haven't been here. But I got text messages. Don't I have text messages of me? Yes, and I told you I was going to give it to you until you said you said you was gonna show me. What you gonna show me, bitch? Whatever you wanna see. What you wanna see? What do you wanna see? Let me know what you wanna see. And then it's like you're deaf. How you doing? I have a key to this place and she won't let me in. Ooh. This is the key. So what do you want to get? I wanna get my clothes that I think she may have done something to because she says I have nothing in here. But I can show you cash out receipts of rent. Thank you. Oh. Oh, oh, hold on, sir. She's I got she got a key you can't oh, keep her. You know. So, well, come here a minute. Come no, here. No, no, come no. Here. You don't know anything come about here. the situation, sir. Come here. Come here a minute. This is my Did home. you want to go in and get it for me? Come on. Thank hold you. Hold on, let me get on the figure. So you see, this is she just threatened to kick my door and she just kicked my phone. That's destruction of the personal property and I want to press she charges. Can live you can come inside and talk to me and she can stand outside. Me. Like she just see. locked my door, so I need the key to unlock the door. She I can just, unlock it for you because I have She a key. used to live here. She did live here, yes. Okay. So I don't want to talk to you outside. I want to talk to you inside, and she just locked my door. I need to unlock. Have you been evicted from the property? No, 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 matter of fact, it's not locked. You can come inside. She ain't been evicted, and you can't keep her out. Listen, sir. I'm not trying to keep her out of the property. She lived here four months ago. Hold on, let me put this down. She moved into my house in April. 
She's been paying rent ever since April. Okay. In July, she punched a hole in the wall and she left to Greensboro to live with her ex-husband. This is the first day that she's been back to the house. She never paid me any of the money that she owed me. So I told her, when are you going to pay me the money? She texted me and told me that she was going to pay me the money at the beginning of the month. And then she told me that she doesn't have the money. So I texted her multiple times, but this morning I called her and she didn't answer the phone. So I texted her and I said, okay, Malia. So then she texted me, threatening me, calling me names, told me that she was going to bring the police to my house. She never told me what for. We never had any altercations. What, what did she have in here? The only thing she has in here is some clothes, and I'm not willing to let her inside my home because, as you can see, she punched a hole in my wall already, which I can show you, and she just kicked my phone. She doesn't care about my thing. Well, here's the thing about it. She, she used to live here, and she was paying you rent. She's not been evicted. You can't keep her out of the house. If she wants to come get her clothes, she can. I can bring her clothes outside, but I'm not willing to let her inside because she has no lease here. She has no contract. None of that matters. No, none of that stuff matters. It don't matter if she... And sign the lease. If you put on a lease, that means nothing. The fact is, you let her move in here. You let her start paying rent. The way the eyes of the law see it is, she lives here. You cannot keep her out of the house. Okay, but are you going to? I'll, stay, I'll go here while she no, goes and get your clothes. Will, I'm willing to bring everything downstairs. You can come with me here, but I'm not willing. And I haven't threatened her at all. I have all the text messages. I, I, that's fine. You, we, just, we, why won't my stuff? We can hear about that. If you if you if she has done something that you think she needs to be charged for, you can go get a warrant for her. Thank you. But you just watched her. Uh, you watched me walk in the house you and your phone was in the doorway. Can I go get my thing? I can't say she done it on purpose. Thank yes, you. you can. Look at the way that I'm she's I'm going to go offer with her when she go get your clothes. Now, how can you say what's hers and what's mine? That's it. Because it's in this room. Come up here with us. Okay. You see what I'm talking about? Where you at? I'm right here. I need a trash bag. Kick the phone. You don't have a trash bag. You don't have anything. I have this little bit here that I'm going to get, and you're not going to get for $700. Carry it. That's yours. Yes, sir. I have furniture that's getting delivered to a new apartment while you have all of this old shit from your damn grandfather. Is anything in here hers? No. Oh, I mean, this yours. TV. This TV is hers. This lamp is yes, hers. Yes, this furniture is all oh, my furniture. Oh, this right here is hers. The bedding on the bed is mine. Uh, the so only thing she has is this clothes and this baby stuff mine, because I don't have, have any the okay. because I just ordered a new one. Well, that's fine. Just get what you want to get me. That's also mine. What's these are yours? You have children? Your, your baby, your what, baby. Uh, so Malia, you I'm not talking girl. about you or to you. I'm talking to the officer and I just said I don't have kids, so none of, of the baby shit is so mine. Smart. You thought it's about to go, go your way. You're an idiot. Malia, oh, you're an idiot. It's not going your way either. It is. I'm getting my stuff. You're not getting $700. You're on TikTok. Calm, calm and I'm moving into a new place calm with new furniture so you can have all this old shit. Calm down. The fuck? Stop what you was going to show me. What you didn't show me nothing. I showed you. How you doing? I have a... <laughs> <laughs> It's not over. Well, let's be going up by this and get her stuff. Exactly. exactly. You, you're make sure you watch. Yeah, you I told you she kicked my phone and, and like, was sitting on my car. The fuck? Cussing me out, calling me names. Have you seen me do you any of this behavior? You and I said, what do you want to see? Me. So what do you want to see? You show me? What do you want to see? What have you shown me? What do you want to see? What have you shown me? What do you want to see? What did you want to show me? Malia, Malia you, we're you going to court. To me. I offered you multiple did? times to get her address and we could handle everything in court. She you said no. She threatened to come in here and do whatever she was going to no, do. You and I asked first. multiple you times for her me. address to you take said her you to was court. Show me. You ain't showing me a motherfucking <laughs> thing. got a headache. I showed you how to push your money. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. I just don't want to post it. I don't want to talk about all of it either. I just want to talk to you or interrupt and say, what's going on? So she lived here. I let her move in in April. Everything was fine. And then um, in July, she punched the hole in the wall over there. And then she left to go to her ex-husband's house. And she's been there ever since. I called her and I told her that it was unacceptable that she punched a hole in the wall because it could mess up my security deposit. Oh, yeah. She said, okay, well, August is going to be our last month. I'm paying my security deposit. Um, my apartment's going to be available in September and I'm moving out. I said, okay, this is the rent. This is how much it's going to cost to fix the hole. This is how much the power costs and this is how much the Wi-Fi costs. Um, when are you going to be able to pay me? And she was like, I'll pay you August 8th or 9th when I get my training check. She texted me and said, my training check wasn't enough. 
and I want to make sure that I have the money for my rent for my place. So I'm going to give you your money. I just don't know when. So today is the 20th of the month. She hasn't been here since July 20th. It's been an entire month. I said, I called her. She didn't answer the phone. I texted her. I said, okay, Malia. She texted me back and said, if I didn't respond to you, what makes you think I'm going to respond to you now? Um, and she just started being really vulgar and calling me names, calling me out of my name, telling me that she was bringing the police to my house and that she was showing up with an escort. And I was like, okay, that's fine. We had a whole conversation about it and I blocked her. And then she texted me from a fake number and sent me more threats. And I said, just bring the police and I'm blocking this number as well. I blocked the number. I waited outside for an hour. She just pulled up at 1240, maybe 15 minutes ago. She pulled up without the police. She walked up to my door and told me that if I didn't let her in, she was going to kick my door down. I said, okay, and that's damage to personal property and communicating threats. You cannot do that. Then she sat on my car. I said, Malia, please get off my car. She said, I'm not moving. You can show me whatever you're going to show me. I said, we can handle this in court. She said, we can. You can take me to court. I said, okay, just give me your address. We'll go to court. It doesn't have to be like this. She said, no, she's going to call the police. So that's when she called the police. And then she sat outside yelling vulgar comments and remarks to me until you guys got here. And then when the officer got here, she went to open my door and I wouldn't let her until I talked to the officer first. And she kicked my phone off the phone stand, which is why it's not connected now. And I told the officer that that's damage to my personal property. And that is the reason why I don't want to let her in because she does not know how to be calm. <laughs> it's not over. I just need that, uh... And then she just said, it's called disciplining. How do you put bruises on a two-year-old child and then say it's called discipline? Yeah, what I mean, kind of evil? You're just making shit up now, but it doesn't matter. Now the bruise is okay because he's licensed. You're admitting to being an abuser. There is something wrong with you. There's something wrong with this girl. Get you some new furniture. Get you a better life, better pussy management, a better boyfriend who take care of his children. And get you a new apartment like I do. Is that everything? Are you done? Or are you yes, getting bitch. the rest of this? Go, bitch, go try to make that money up. You all on a nice day. You stupid bitch. How do you look money? How do you look money? You have a good day, man. Um, I told the other officer that the only thing I needed is an address so that we can be able to handle this in court. So. Her address? Yes, I just I have need... no idea where it is. She said she was moving. I mean, I don't know. So is the other officer still outside? Because you're not very helpful at all. I just need that. It's true that everything that is posted is not the full story because you'll just never have 100% of the full story. There's no way to clock that team. But we'll just go ahead and go to the bullet points that I got because I wrote my notes down. And I'll try to make this as fast as possible. What the fuck is she talking about? Possible, okay. A lot of people in the comments were talking about how me and this girl were friends and how I shouldn't be doing my friends like this. First of all, that's not what it was. We were co-workers that decided to be roommates off of a mutually beneficial agreement. Okay? She... What the fuck? And then she... Just remember that everything that is posted is not the full story because you'll just never have 100% of the full story. There's no way to clock that team. But we'll just go ahead and go to the bullet points that I got because I wrote my notes down. And I'll try to make this as fast as possible, okay? A lot of people in the comments were talking about how me and this girl were friends and how I shouldn't be doing my friends like this. First of all, that's not what it was. We were co-workers that decided to be roommates off of a mutually beneficial agreement, okay? She didn't like the place that she was living in. She was uncomfortable where she was living. And she expressed that to me. So I said, hey, I have a three-bedroom apartment. We can split the rent. And that is what we decided to do, okay? She paid $200 and moved in April 9th. We split everything 50 50. Everything was fine. July 19th, we had a verbal altercation because she didn't leave any wipes for the baby. And she didn't want to send me any money to go to the store and buy more wipes for the baby. So we ended up giving the baby a bath. Either way, there was I would not do that. I'm not that type of person. Hell no, I can't listen to this shit. All right, y'all. That's enough. Well, yeah, that's just too much drama for me for one day. I'll let y'all the next one, man. Uh, yeah, y'all gotta leave y'all comments below, man. That shit's wild. That shit was entertaining, though. I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna try to see what else she got on her uh, page. And, uh, <clears throat> yeah, it's drama, man. Everyone can't live with each other, man. Like, really. It's too many different personalities. Too many different hormones, too many different emotions and feelings and uh, disrespect. Yeah. People living on top of people. That shit's wild, though. But, yeah. I'll have y'all in the next one. Let's nation. Let's get it. Yeah.
Para Alas.